Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I am bringing back a series that I don't do very often, but I enjoy doing a lot because it's quite entertaining, and it is called Tales from the Classroom, in case you did not click the video or you did click the video and you're not really looking at the title. Thanks for the viewership with that, but anyways, if you clicked the video and you looked at the title, this is Tales from the Classroom, and today we are going to be talking about Adventures in AutoCAD. Now, here's the thing. This is not one of my stories, however, I have my buddy Sean with me, and he told me this story before, and this happened, what, like your senior year of high school? It was a uh, sophomore or junior year of high school. Okay, so when you were like 15 to 17, something like that. Oh, about that range, yeah. Okay, and he told me this story a while ago, and I asked him, hey, can I put it on, you know, my little commentary show, as long as I change the names? He said he didn't care. I forgot about it. Today we're hanging out and we thought of it again. And I'm like, you know what? If you're coming over, do you want to just tell the story? And it happened with him, so it would be better. But like, guys, I normally don't do dual comms, not because I'm against them. It's just they don't really happen. But if I'm bringing someone on for something, it's pretty big. So introducing my buddy Sean right here. You all have seen him. He was in the Xbox One unboxing. He's helped me out with a few videos here and there. And, uh, Sean, I will let you take it away, and then we can interject a little bit here. Later. Okay, okay. How, how should I start this? Okay, Let's well, put it, uh, I was a junior or a sophomore in high school, and I had this teacher, we'll, we'll call him Mr. Swanson for right now. We're calling him Mr. Swanson because uh, Mr. Swanson, in, in real life, I mean, we're getting that off Family Guy, of course, but he was paraplegic, so he was a very capable guy. He was actually very buff. Oh, he was he, very buff. Right? Yeah, but he had an accident when he was in the service at one point, I believe, so he ended up in a wheelchair, unfortunately. But he was still, like, one of the coolest guys ever. Yeah. But we're going to refer to him as Mr. Swanson for this, to change all the names. Yep, yep. And then we have... Uh, uh, me and some of my friends and then there was a kid one grade under us he, we'll just go with Scott for right now and this has to do with Scott and a drawing of Mr. Swanson oh god okay <laughs> so I've been in class with this kid for I don't know a year by now maybe two years depending on if I'm getting my times right so I'm just sitting there with my buddy <laughs> And we're, we were, you know, slacking off. We're high schoolers, you know. And also, like, AutoCAD, you told me, I mean, like, I, I had given Sean a lot of my music at one point, most of which was Tool, and, like, you, you told me that you would just go into AutoCAD and start listening to Tool and just zone out. Oh, yeah. And, and then, then finish all your finish stuff. Finish everything in a week, and then I get a month off, yeah. Right. But that's how everything went. But me and my buddy, we just started noticing something, because this <laughs> Scott kid was sitting across from us in CAD. Now, think, it's like a three rows... Of computers and then another three rows of computers so we can and, and these are all like cubicles and such but you also because it was autocad you also had like in this computer room you had like all the monitors raised yeah it was raised and everything but the way mr swanson was positioned in his classroom he was positioned in a way that he couldn't see any of our monitors unless he actually got off of his desk and rolled over to come see us right but that never happened because he was just as lazy as we were yeah but so, we, we see this guy, Scott, sitting across from us, and he just starts drawing something one day. And we just don't pay attention to it, because he's just like us. He wants to slack off. So, you know, we take our normal morning naps, and we just pay no mind to it for, I don't know, a month. And then, and then one day, randomly, like, I don't know, halfway through the semester, we just see this drawing, and we're like, what is he drawing? He's been doing this for like a month. And it just happened. So, be so before you reveal it, he was working on this for an entire like month straight, right? At like least was, a month. Like whenever he was in the AutoCAD class, he was probably doing some work on the side. Then he was working on this drawing. Yeah, we're in there for an hour every day of the week. So this kid has an hour in the morning every day, and he and he worked as much as we did. So he was slacking off as much as we did. So he had time of the world. <laughs> Working on this drawing, and honestly, before I tell you what it is, it was a beautiful drawing oh my God. for an amateur artist. It was a very, very detailed drawing. That's what scares me. It, it is very scary, and I'm surprised Mr. Swanson didn't take it worse than he did. But 
Enough suspense. So, <laughs> this is our, our teacher, Mr. Swanson. We told you he's a pretty buff dude. And he's he's a pretty manly guy. He's kind of like a lumberjack, except in a wheelchair. That's exactly the way you could put him. Yeah. And yeah. we're not saying anything against like people in wheelchairs or anything. No, but like this is like a direct description of him. He is an awesome guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, this drawing, it was disturbing because... We had to stare at it. It was it was a double take <laughs> moment, people. Okay, when when you look at something like that, you have to double take it, triple take, quadruple take. I'd say quadruple. Quadruple take. Like I didn't even see the drawing, but I'm just imagining this. So now I want to put this into your imagination and burn it into your skulls. <laughs> this drawing. Keep in mind, this was two drawings too, because later he animated this. <laughs> the first drawing was of Mr. Swanson. Naked in his wheelchair <laughs> with a gigantic penis. Oh my god. Now, now when you think gigantic penis, you think a high school drawing of a gigantic penis. You know, balls and then a phallic shape attached to it. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> pull, up, pull up something like an actual penis picture. Well, I mean, unless... Okay. Well, okay. Okay, don't actually do it. And kids, if you're going to do it, disable the... Like, keep the safe search on yeah. Google. Like. But... This thing was veiny. There was high detail into it. There was shading, but like there was shading. There I didn't know there shading. was shading. There okay. was shading, <laughs> but like in a size so comparison, bad. him in the chair was a bit bigger than the size of the penis he drew. And this was like a uh, like pretty... I, I'd say like an average size guy. Yeah. Yeah, like, let's say, like, five foot, five, five foot six, if he stood. Yeah. Okay, so he started off with, like, you know, black and white, and then he added vein colors to it. So, you know, red and blue, right? Then he started adding more shades, and eventually it just, it was like a caricature of a penis attached to a man in a wheelchair. <laughs> so Now, how do you know it was Mr. Swanson specifically in the wheelchair, in this photo? There was no mistaking <laughs> that it was not Mr. Swanson, but we also heard him talking to his friend about this was Mr. Swanson. <laughs> but, so, I told you that he animated it. Yeah. He continually drew on this picture until he got it perfect with the veins and the colors, and then he animated it with Mr. Swanson jerking himself. And then coming all over himself. Oh, God. And this kid was just busting out laughing one day. And there was just a crowd around him. And Mr. Wait, Swanson... There was a crowd. He didn't see It wasn't this. like a crowd crowd. But there was, was like, like three people. Yeah, three people was like, what are you doing? And then everybody just started busting out laughing. And then Mr. Swanson told us to go back to our work. Okay. But, and then it, it escalated a bit further than this. It went, hey, I'm not only going to make a... Small little flip picture thing of it in paint. I'm going to set it as my desktop background for everyone to see. Yeah, because the way these computers were set up, you had one local account on the computer. And then each person, because, you know, there were at least five people on each computer per day, each person would have their own folder which they had all their AutoCAD work saved to. So that meant at least four other people, aside from Scott, would look at this background every single day they got on the computer for, like, how long? Maybe, like, a month? Probably a, a month. month or two okay. before someone caught on to it and told Mr. Swanson. Now, do we know who told Mr. Swanson? We do not know who told him. Okay. But I am surprised it took him that long to figure out that there was a <laughs> drawing on there. <laughs> this, yeah, because, like, the, if I remember, the backgrounds on those computers were, like, purple. Just yeah. like straight purple. It was like purple or blue. And I think like, it was purple. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I understand why it was hard for him to notice because he was like in the corner where I normally sat because he was right next to a window and he couldn't really see you very well. But it was like, why would nobody tell him about this over I, like two months? I mean, thinking about it, like if you were in that position, would you be like, um, like this any teacher would be like, uh, Mr. Swanson, I, uh. I have something questionable on my desktop background, and then he comes over, and it's an animated, very detailed photo made of made in paint of the teacher masturbating. I mean, like how how would somebody approach that situation? I mean, and also take it, this guy, whenever he actually got mad at a student, he got really mad at his like student. Like he would like throw stuff and everything. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. like he would be 
either passive aggressive or just directly aggressive. I normally had him passive aggressively. That's when I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, surprisingly, this kid, Scott, he didn't get in trouble, like, as much as I thought he would for drawing this phylactic Mr. Swanson jerking it. Yeah. I, I mean, he got, I think it was It was like, a rocket ship. It was a mm-hmm. rocket ship. Red <laughs> rocket. <laughs> but he got, like, suspended for, I don't know. A week? Now, was this in school or yeah, out of school? in school oh. suspension. Like, so, this is the, so this was the bad... This is like the suspension that isn't as bad, but it's a suspension you don't want because that means you go to school and you stay in one classroom doing nothing for a week straight. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I guess he kind of got off school for drawing it. But, man, like, staying in just, like, that one room for a week straight, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I guess he thought it was worth it for drawing a picture of our teacher. I guess. But what what was Mr. Swanson? Because you were telling me this, like how how did Mr. Swanson approach this? Uh, it was remember. more like I'm pretty sure he didn't approach um, Scott directly in class. It was just the picture was there one week, and then we got back Monday. The picture was gone. And Scott wasn't in class. Well, didn't he tell me he, like, brought him over? He's like, Scott, do you want to explain this picture to me? Might have. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on that. I really too. wish I was a fly on the wall for that conversation. That, that would have been really interesting. But I don't think he talked to him in front of our class. He might have pulled him over and been like, what is this? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, like, see, I'll put it like this. I had Mr. Swanson for one class, and it was just, like, an introduction to... Uh, he didn't do automotive, no. He did, like, wood shop and all that. Yeah. And CAD. And it was, like, an introduction to all of that, which I only had one class with him, and it was great. But he was the type of guy who I remember there was one kid, um, we're going to call him Jeff. Like, Jeff, there was one time when I was in class with him, and he was just playing, like, that pinball game on Windows XP. And all of a sudden... You just hear Mr. Swanson, like, he, he had been doing this for, like, two days, and Mr. Swanson's all like, hey, Jeff, get off that game. So Jeff gets off it, and then he didn't stop there. He, Mr. Swanson had his own computer, and then he had a projector hooked up to that, which the whole class could see. Turns on the projector, goes to his email, and he's just like, okay, uh, Jeff, could you tell me who your principal is? And Je- in front of the whole class, Jeff had to tell him who his principal was. Then he is just like, dear principal, put the name here. Jeff was in my class today, and instead of doing work, he was playing video games on the computer. Jeff has talked to me and has said that he would like, Jeff, how many days of suspension do you want? Two or three? And Jeff's just like, oh, I think two is fine. He's like, Jeff would like two days of in-school suspension so he could learn his lesson. (laughs) Like, Mr. Swanson was that type of guy. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that is exactly how he is. I had him in wood shop too, and he's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, except like the older you got, because like he hated freshmen. I had him as a freshman, but like once you got like older, like senior, you could like do whatever you wanted to in there. Yeah, he got me out of, I think it was a month of my senior year because I could get excused <laughs> from every single one of my classes to go work on a balsa bridge. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. And all my teachers were cool with it. They're like, sure, or whatever. I mean, it's for Mr. Swanson, so might as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, do we have any other things to add to this veiny phallic story? Kinda wish I saved it just so I could keep it. Oh my god, that'd be great. Just like one day you wake up into your desktop background at your home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I would laugh. I'm just imagining the animation of that too. Like the way I'm thinking, because like he flipped back and forth. Like for anybody who was a kid at one point and they read like the Captain Underpants books, like the flipperama parts, like that's how that was. It wasn't pretty it? much exactly was. I think it was either two or three pictures of that. And oh it my was god. Just, and this went on for, like, we're going to totally hear, that was about, like, three months overall then, right? Yeah. From the beginning of the picture to when he got in trouble. At least half of our junior or sophomore year, that's what was oh happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. That's way too much time for a straight man to be working on a penis. It's quite a bit of a time for yeah. a man to be working on a penis. Multiple ones, too, granted. Yeah. So... Yeah, anyways, that was our story with adventures in CAD design and all that good stuff. I'd like to thank Sean for coming on. Hi. Yeah. And um, if you want any more stories with this series, let me know, because I normally I do like one every few months or so, because that's normally what I crank out. But yeah, so uh, adventures in CAD design. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone. One, go ahead and say bye, Sean. Bye-bye.